In Matthew 18, verse 18 to 20, Jesus tells us about the power of prayer when he said, Truly I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am among them. Do you realize the power we have available to us when we take our authority in prayer? The power of prayer should not be underestimated. James 5 verse 16 to 18 declares, Therefore confess your sins to one another, and pray for one another that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has good power as it is working. Elijah was a man with a nature like ours, and he prayed fervently that it might not rain. And for three years and six months, it did not rain on earth. Then he prayed again, and heaven gave rain, and the earth bore its fruit. The power of prayer is not the result of a person praying. Rather, the power resides in Jesus to whom is being prayed. 1 John 5 verse 14 to 15 tells us, And this is the confidence that we have toward him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have the request that we have asked of Him. We cannot access powerful prayer by using magic formulas. All you have to do is ask Jesus for help. Psalm 107 verse 28 to 30 reminds us, Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and He delivered them from their distress. He made the storm to be still, and the waves of the sea were hushed. Then they were glad that the waters were quiet, and He brought them to their desired haven. God's help through the power of prayer is available for all kinds of requests and issues. Philippians 4, verse 6 to 7 tells us, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and mind in Christ Jesus. The power of prayer has overcome enemies. Psalm 6, verse 9 through 10. The Lord has heard my plea. The Lord accept my prayer. All my enemies shall be ashamed and greatly troubled. They shall turn back and be put to shame in a moment. The power of prayer has conquered death. 2 King 4, verse 32 to 36. When Elisha came into the house, he saw the child lying dead on his bed. So he went in and shut the door behind the two of them and prayed to the Lord. Then he went up and lay on the child, putting his mouth on his mouth, his eyes on his eyes in his hands on his hands. And as he stretched himself upon him, the flesh of the child became warm. Then he got up again and walked once back and forth in the house and went up and stretched himself upon him. The child sneezed seven times and the child opened his eyes. Then he summoned Jehazi and said, call this Shunammite. So he called her and when she came to him, he said, pick up your son. The power of prayer has but healings. James 5 verse 14 to 15. The Bible says, Is anyone among you sick? Let him call the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sin, he will be forgiving. The power of prayer has defeated demons. Mark 9, verse 25 to 29. When Jesus saw that a crowd was running to the scene, he rebuked the impure spirit, you deaf and mute spirit, he said, I command you, come out of him and never enter again. The spirit shrieked, convulsed him violently and came out. The boy looked so much like a corpse that many said, he's dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him to his feet and he stood up. After Jesus has gone indoor, his disciple asked him privately, why couldn't we drive it out? He replied, this guy come out only by prayer. Through the power of prayer, God opens eyes, changes heart, heals wounds, and grants wisdom. James 1 verse 5 tells us, If any one of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who will give generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. The power of prayer should never be underestimated, because it draws on the glory and might of the infinite, powerful God of the universe. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I pray this prayer in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind and bring to no effect all division, all discord, disunity, any strife, anger, any wrath, any criticism, 
condemnation, pride, envy, jealousy, gossip, slander, complaining, any lying, false teaching, false gifts, false manifestations, lying signs and wonders, poverty, fear of lack, fear of murmuring spirit, deceiving spirit, and spirits of Antichrist. These are all bound in me, my family, and church family. I bind all curses that have been spoken against us. I bind the power of negative words and curses, and I bind and render useless all prayer not inspired by the Holy Spirit. I bless those who curse me and pray blessings on those who despitefully use me. I confess that I am a child of God, that I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I am God's property. I confess the Holy Spirit guides and leads me. I do hear God's voice, as Jesus said in John 10, verse 27. I can discern between what is righteous and wicked. I have authority over Satan and demons through Christ. I declare Satan is under my feet. I bind Satan for my family, for my mind, my body, my home, my church, and my finances. I confess that I am healed and whole. I flourish. I am stable. I am fruitful, full of peace, patience, and love. Whatever I set my hands to shall prosper, for God supplies my every need. God, I pray for the ministry you have for me to be revealed and matured. Anoint me for all you have called me to do for you. I call for divine appointments, open doors of opportunity. God ordain encounters, ministry opportunities, and ministry position. I will use my life and God giving abilities for your glory and honor. Lord, I claim a fence of protection around myself, my spouse, and children day and night. I ask you, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, to dispatch angels to surround me, my spouse, and my children today, and to put them throughout my home, my cars, my properties. I ask that angels protect my home from any intrusion, and to protect me and my family from any harmful demonic, physical, or mental attacks. I declare by faith that revival is sweeping through me and my family. I would allow it to bring about the necessary changes in me. I am open to correction, to repentance, to obedience and brokenness and a deeper walk with God. I am deeply desire a more powerful prayer life and a greater intimacy with the Lord and a burden for the loss, my family line and any persons or persons from any occult sources. Thank you, Jesus, for setting us free. I forbid Satan, demons, witches and any other cohorts from harassing or embarrassing me and the ministry God has given me. I forbid them from attempting to smear and discredit, so I to discourage others who will receive benefits from my ministry. I am not ignorant of the tricks of the devil, his wiles and strategies. Now I command you to stop your operations, that all your psychic commands, incantations, prayers, and desires against my ministry be turned back upon those who sent them out. I command you to retreat and flee in defeat in this very moment. I also commend that the mouths of who help spread lies against this ministry be stopped. The Lord rebuke you and all who helped you in Jesus' name. I repent for myself and all those in my generation line who blame God for wronging them. I repent for myself and all for those in my generation line for blaming God for bringing them into shame by stripping them of their glory and removing their crown from their head. I repent for myself and all those of my generation lie who blame God for surrounding them with his net, destroying them and demolishing them on every side, thus destroying their hope. I repent for myself and all those in my generation lie who blame God for being their enemy and blame God for being furious with them and sending troops against them or troops to build pathways to attack them and to camp all around their bodies and dwelling places. I repent for myself and all those in my generational line for blocking and welling up their wall and plugging their paths into darkness. I repent for myself and all those in my generational line for having a fearful and unbelieving heart that caused us to depart from the way of holiness. I ask for the restoration of the ancient path where gladness and joy overtake me. I embrace my birthright to walk knowing the Lord. I repent for myself and all those in my generational line for using ungodly wisdom where we have been operating out of futile mindsets trying to work things out by ourselves. I choose, Lord, to work out of your knowledge of understanding, wisdom, and discernment. I choose to work with you, Lord, to change my ways so that I can walk the ancient paths established before the fall. 
I choose to walk in your healing and allow your strength, which flows from your life-giving water. I repent for myself and all those in my generation online who use their God-given physical and spiritual senses in ungodly ways and choose to operate only from their natural mind. Lord, please break off all iniquity that follow from those decisions to ignore your mind, your heart, and will. Lord, please remove all iniquity from my God-given senses. I ask you, Lord, to restore my ability to use all of my senses to discern your mind, your heart, and will. I repent for myself and for all those in my generational line who blame God for removing friends, family, and employees from them or turning people against them so that they may despise and hate it to the point of death. I repent for myself and all those in my generational line who blame God and for striking them and persecuting them. I repent for myself and all those in my generational line who wish that their accusations against God and their suffering could be recorded forever in stones. Lord, I repent for myself and all those in my generational line for not looking for your path and your ways. I repent for not being willing to walk on your path and therefore finding no rest for my soul. I repent for myself and all those in my generational line who believe that God was withholding good from them and believe that they become like God, knowing good and evil. I repent for myself and all those in my generational line who rejected the law of the Lord and the testimony of His Spirit, departing from His wisdom and truth, and entering to the kingdom of their own soul. I renounce and repent for myself and for those who rely on the knowledge of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. I repent for those who rely on their own thinking. I renounce and repent for myself and for all those in my generational line who forsook the Lord, the fountain of living water, and created for themselves broken jars that could hold no water. I reject receiving by my ancestors and myself the seed of Satan in our mind that begin with the fall of man and believing the lie that we could become like God. I renounce and repent for my ancestors and myself for rejecting our birthright of being children of the Most High God and relying upon Him. I renounce and repent for my ancestors and myself for conceiving certain evil seed, disobedience, trouble, and the preparation of deception, which birthed iniquity and evil intent in our generational line. Lord, please remove and seal the access the enemy gain in the womb to take us to ungodly, heavenly places. Lord, please remove and restore to me by the blood of Jesus any elemental part of me, including my inheritance and birthright that is trapped in the second heaven or other heavenly places. Lord, please close the ungodly doors to the second heaven. I repent for myself and all those in my family line who rely upon the natural wisdom of man and rejected the Spirit of God. I choose to rely on the precept of truth and the Spirit of God to give me the mind of Christ to direct my mind on the righteous pathway. I reject the wisdom of man and I repent for the pride in my family line that saw the wisdom of God as foolishness. I declare that I would be born of the Spirit and of water through Jesus Christ, who calls me justified and glorifies me. I declare His truth was established before the foundation of the earth and before the elemental spirits were created. I claim my spiritual birthright of being conceived in love, of being given the Spirit of God who reveals wisdom to me, and of being given spiritual eyes in my heart to see the riches of His glory and inheritance. I claim that I am being formed in the image of His glorious Son. I reject the seed of Satan and I reject my position as a child of the father of lies and murder. I ask you, Abba Father, to close the eyes that were opened when Adam and Eve partook of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. I renounce and reject any ungodly rights or authority that were given to the soul to direct my mind along ungodly pathways. I agree with God's original plan that all spiritual wisdom of good and evil originates from God's throne and is revealed to my spirit. I agree that the Holy Spirit has permission to direct my spirit and to lead my soul and body. I receive the seed of the Holy Spirit into my spirit by which power I cry, Abba, Father. Lord, on behalf of myself and my family line, I repent for questioning God's words and therefore inviting the influence of Leviathan, the king of pride, into my life. Lord, I choose to be directed by your commandments so that you might enlarge my heart. I declare that my Redeemer lives, and while I am yet alive, I will see God for myself with my own eyes. I declare that my hope is in you, my Redeemer. 
I ask you now to restore the ancient pathways to me and shine your light on me so that I can see you with my eyes. I ask you to restore my stolen birthright back to me, my glory and my crown. Father, I thank you that before you formed me in my mother's womb, you have predetermined my birthright, the path of glory in which I should walk. On behalf of myself and my generational line, I repent for and renounce rejecting the truth you formed my inmost being, and you wrote all the days preordained for me in your book before they came to be. Father, on behalf of myself and my generational line, I repent for and renounce rejecting the ancient path that you have chosen for me to walk in. Father, on behalf of myself and my generational line, I repent for and renounce listening to and aligning my thinking with the wicked. Lord, I reject them in their pursuit of bloodlust. Father, I declare that I am fearfully and wonderfully made and that you will lead me in the way of everlasting. I declare that all your works are wonderful. Lord, I agree with your word which says that the weapons of my warfare are not carnal but mighty through you, to the pulling down of strongholds. I choose to cast down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. And I choose to bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Lord, will you release the resurrection power of the Holy Spirit to restore me to the path of holiness? Lord, please cause your perfect love to run through my entire being, casting out all fear. I ask the Lord to repair or replace any part of my brain or neutral pathway required to establish attachment with my Heavenly Father and fellow men. Lord, would you cause me to dwell in the secret place of the Most High? I declare tonight my birthright is to walk with Abba Father in the garden where I hear His voice and enjoy intimate fellowship with Him. I believe that Jesus Christ appropriated this relationship for me when He ripped the veil in the holies of holies. Lord, I repent for my generational line that that try to earn by works, that which you have given freely by grace. Lord, please not usher me into the place of rest in your perfect peace. In Jesus' name, amen.